Away and racing. A good start toward the outside for Sister Peacock and showing up near the centre is Miss Mosaic coming through towards the early lead is also Gamble's Caddy. Sister Peacock by a length to Gamble's Caddy. Super Escape in third and back in fourth position is Miss Mosaic. Another time and Amalfi Coast towards the back. Painting and Charmaine's Mia. Gamble's Caddy spurts up the rail to go through and be in front from Sister Peacock with a nice drop is Super Escape a length and a half away. A couple away behind is another time Miss Mosaic. Amalfi Coast getting to warm up now. Charmaine's mere second last and painting his last. About seven lengths covers the field and Gamble's Candy is in front by a length to Sister Peacock. One and a half away. Super Escape having a good run. Miss Mosaic tucking in on the inside. Then another time Amalfi Coast paintings getting up on the inside. Charmaine's mere is last. As they come to the 5 sixteenths, Gamble's Candy in front is off on Super Escape. Races up on the outside to go to the front. And in the centre driving through a Sister Peacock. Amalfi Coast is there and so to another time. Painting trying to get a run from the last position with Charmaine's Mia. Super Escape is in front. Amalfi Coast is there. Sister Peacock on the inside, but it's Super Escape, the leader. Got out by almost a length. In second, Sister Peacock, Amalfi Coast pushing on, is coming on the outside. The leader, Super Escape, Amalfi Coast desperate to get up and painting when the late race is all over. Super Escape, a length and a half, Amalfi Coast painting is third. And then another time, Sister Peacock, Charmaine's Mia, Miss Mosaic, and Gamble's Candy. 122.10. One six from sixteen lifetime. It is official. Super Escape takes the seaway and remains undefeated on Woodbine's Tapita surface. Cuts back in distance, and the guy that engineered the victory from a pilot's point of view is one Luis Contreras. And he's nice enough to take time out of his schedule to join us here at Woodbine. Uh, Luis, you were cutting back last time at a model 16th. You were on the front ends. Mm -hmm. Today you cut back. How nicely did she relax you down the back stretch? Well, I don't know if she was so relaxed or not, but there is a lot of speed on the race. So I use, I don't want to. I don't want her to go and fight with the speed like crazy. So she relaxed nice behind those horses and I just took my time to make the right move. Sometimes when you handicap a race on paper, it never unfolds <laughs> as you expect. But as you said, there was a lot of pace in this race. Were you pleased to have those two horses battling up front? Yeah, kind of. That, that's, you see the form, that's pretty much the, how it's going to go in the race. And that was. That was it, and I was just worried for the horses coming from, from out of the pace. But like I told you, I, used, I was just timing my, my time and taking, cooling my head to the quarter pole, and, and that was what. At the top of the stretch, you had some pretty nice horses. This was a good field uh, this year's edition of the Seaway. Were you pretty comfortable and pretty confident that you were going to get the victory? Yes, yeah, so I was really comf confident with her, but just, just like I told you, just, just want to give her a nice trip. and come home really strong. Louise, congratulations. She's been a lot of fun to watch so far this season. Enjoy the win, my friend. Uh, thank you so much. And okay. thanks to Michael for it. Yeah, I did a great job with yeah. this horse. Thank and I uh, always appreciate the support that Mike Trombettis gives us here at Woodbine. Super Escape escapes the rest of the field to take today's on-track feature.